Hello, everybody, and welcome to Playframe. So what's the fiction here? Did Eggman just kind of, like, decide, screw taking over the world, like, I'm gonna... I'm gonna chase my dreams. I'm gonna open a theme park. It's what I've wanted since I was a kid. Oh, good for him! Well, now, listen, Tails. The way I see it... It, sorry, I'm not meaning to stab you with this. The way I see it, Eggman has, like, left behind his life of crime. He's built a theme park. He's bringing joy to others and using rings for that purpose. Frankly, I think it's time for you to let this go. I think it's time for us to let Eggman be rehabilitated. This is clearly something that he is doing out of a desire to improve. I mean, for the look of things. I'm not... Listen. Hey, actually, as long as I'm fighting, I should introduce somebody. Uh... My wife, Carrie, is going to be... editing pretty much all of the episodes on this channel from this point on, for the most part. Uh... And so she's editing this one now. So Carrie, say hello. Hello. Ooh, I see... A couple of robots, that's something. Can I hit him? Nope, not that way. Damn, not here. Use this teleporter to go back. <sighs> nope, that's that's a robot. I need a gun, thank you. How is it so hard to find the last couple soldiers? Why are they so hidden? Damn it. Uh, uh. Shut up. Hey, look! A giant circus tent! This is what getting frustrating. Stupid gun beetle sentry drones. Where? They may be weak, but they are relentless. Where? Tell me where they is. So that I may shoot them. I guess I don't have a gun right now. It's very out of character for me. I looked up a video and you gotta like drop the bomb in midair, catch it, and it like propels you back. We're gonna we're gonna give it a few shots. I gave it a, a practice or two. Oh No! Okay, I guess we gotta throw it. I guess we gotta throw it. That that felt and looked good to me. It'll be a new segment called uh Dan's Glitch Corn. Dan's Glitch Showcase. <laughs> Not a great start to the showcase. What if you take their honey? Won't the bees be angry? Hmm. I hope you're paying attention. This is all very important to the lore. I was a, I was a real speedrunner. <laughs> Doing the one probably easiest trick in the book. No! Just give me it! Now I, I feel like I'm actually getting better at it. And I go by. I, I don't even grab it that time. Dang it! Ah! 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 I did it! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I had given up hope! <laughs> Bambi, welcome to the front lines. Get out there and fight! <laughs> Oh, I love these games. Pooh, come here. Look at that waddle. That is precious. Let's just march. Hup, two, hup, two, hup, two. <laughs> There's only two of us, but it's still the best parade there ever was. Oh, that's a lot of work they chose to do. Wow, we are in the sky, huh? Blue sky, have you seen it before? Hedgehog. All right, watch Tigger's bouncing pattern and follow his lead. Here's a little warm up. Okay, so we're just like doing Simon Says on the uh, stumps then. Uh, which I think means here, 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 and here. Ah. I had the button too late. 
Okay, take two. Bell, why? I'm not sure what's going on, but is everything okay? Don't feel bad. There must be a reason she said those things. She just doesn't want to be around you. Keep your sympathy. No one could ever care for a beast like me. I'm gonna go mope. Poor guy. Dude, did you see that speedrun crap right there I just did? Oh, call up AGDQ! Alright, jump on the same tree stumps as Tigger 25 times to clear. Wow. Uh, circle, triangle, square, and X to choose the next stump. If you miss just one stump, it's game over. Wow, Tigger's hardcore. Alright. But the most wonderful thing about Tigger is I'm the only one. <laughs> Alright, so we jump on to... So... Triangle... Square... Triangle. So it's Simon Says again. Okay. X... Circle... X... Square... X... Circle... Triangle, square. I am really good at this game, apparently. This is getting out of hand. Jeez, we're gonna get to 200. At this point, I want to mess up. My brain is tired. <laughs> I'm just morbidly fascinated by how far I'm getting and curious how far I can get. Hang on, I, I don't even know how to do this trick. I just have seen people do it. So I want to try. My gosh! Holy s! <laughs> I've only seen. I've never looked up how to do that. I was just like, it's gotta be something with long jumping. I. Okay, okay. Alright, as soon as I get to 350, I am just taking a dive because enough is enough. I haven't got a hard drive space to keep recording nonsense. Circle, square, circle, square, circle. Okay, that's, that's enough. <laughs> I'm taking a dive on this next one. Th enough is enough. <sighs> oh, my brain. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was like, geez, that was like five or 10 minutes. My brain is shot. <laughs> but there's a few cool little tricks. Uh, I, I'm actually going to use it real quick here just so I can um, get rid of this sign. Uh, so what do I do? Crouch and then... Okay, see? Hey, got it first time. Let's try. Um, crouch again. All right, we got to line ourselves up. Oh, you could tell Navi is actually, I believe, Tails color from uh, Majora's Mask. That was a little option. I was like, that's cool. So, if we crouch, attack. Uh, we, we've we joined one with this little boy. <laughs> um, so we can kind of just clip through him. And like, you're like, oh no, he's still blocking me, right? Uh, well, we can, we can get rid of him. If we just go over this side and just eek for just a little bit. Just, just a tad. Just a little scooch. Keep scooching. There we go. He's gone. <laughs> and we should get whatever the ocarina item is here. Silver scale. Okay. I got one from uh, Mario Regari here asking, I've always wondered if there was a story behind getting the rights to songs like the Mortal Kombat theme, especially. Oh like, my god, yeah. It's, it's, okay, so prepare. It would, it would. <laughs> it's gonna be a long story. I, I want to hear this. <laughs> 
So, uh, it started up because of an, an a stupid inside joke I have with uh, Chris Lavina, one of the old Forcer Attacks, a good friend of mine. Yeah. And we're saying that if a game doesn't have Yu Kang in it, it's not a good game. <laughs> so, like, uh, Super Mario Brother, where the hell is Yu Kang? Right? Zero out of five. So, it was like a stupid inside joke. And then I was streaming um, about a game, and one time I said to Chris, I was like, hey, don't watch today's stream, I have something for you. And I made a Mortal Kombat on stream in four hours. That's so good. And it, it's it's all there, you know. It's on YouTube. You can check it out. And I'm like crying because this is so stupid, right? <laughs> you know. And I, I made that up, and it was I don't know. It was a series of happy accident for that. So we made that, and then we went to Paxes. We uh, hidden that in, uh, as a secret stage. But every time the Mortal Kombat song was popping up, we could see like a huge chunk of the crowd just like <laughs> staring at the screen, like turning their heads like, what is happening? <laughs> and then like the crowd kept bigger and bigger and bigger. So we're like, okay, we have to at least try to put the song in the game, you know? Yes. So, I put Mike on it. <laughs> <laughs> and I went to do other stuff. And uh, Mike just made his magic. So basically, Mike uh, looked around who had the music. And since the music came from the movie and no not from the game, uh, it was Warner Brother that had the uh, license mm. for, the, for, the, for the music. But the thing is, the movie uh, came out in like 96, I believe, something like that. Yeah, around there. And we were in 2016 at the time, so it was 20 years later. Oh. Therefore, the license was out. The uh, It was um, overdue, is that the word? Is oh, interesting, yeah. Yeah, so it w they had like a 20 year license, so they didn't own the license anymore. So it went back by default to the artist. The cool. artist is The Mortal, which is like a small band that was formed only for the movie. So they made like three songs. <laughs> Songs and that's it so it came back to them so then started a race to try to find those guys and tell like hey can we use a song and we actually uh, uh, told them that they had the license because they didn't even know they had the <laughs> license back you know so it's, it's because of us we're like oh yeah we have that all right so then we were able to uh, contact them and say like can we use them and then finally they said yes and we paid for it and we're like is it really happening now? So like, I'm so glad to say that Josh and Beast is the first game ever that has the Mortal Kombat theme song, including any Mortal Kombat <laughs> games <true>. ever. <laughs> That's like amazing. an achievement of my life. Like I cannot top that. <laughs> that is so good. Oh, so the other episode I was talking about uh, um, Disney voices. I wanna, I wanna give a few, uh, break off a few for you here. Um, Winnie the Pooh, trying to Winnie the Pooh. Okay, let me let me concentrate here. I've got a rumbly in my tumbly. Oh, piglet! Oh, piglet! <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that was even good. It didn't sound as good as it did now that I'm wearing headphones. Oh, piglet! I've got a rumbly in my tumbly. <laughs> and then, the uh, I can't do Tigger's voice because I'm not good at the lisp. He's like. Hey, poop man! I don't, I don't even know what to do! I don't even know how to start it. Um, but he goes to like the... <laughs> what was the other one? Oh, there was Captain Hook. Insolent brats! Ah, pizza pie! <laughs> Is that good? I, like, I can't tell. There's that good, good ladder. To freedom. To story. Surprise! Yay! Co-op! <laughs> yeah, I think I'm just gonna run at him. Yeah. Oh wait. I can. Ah, no, nope, I can't get a good window. He's all yours. That's the stuff. Oh yeah, I have a whip. <laughs> Ow! Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was hoping uh, the the snake would take that. <laughs> well, <laughs> Sin's fortress. Why, hello everybody, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories Final Mix Chapter Two Riku Edition <laughs> Story Mode. EX Turbo, no odd job, no items. Fox only. Final destination: five minutes. No rush. Any percent. The finale. Let's do this. 
Well, it has been a pleasure. Nearby you will find my camp. I trust it will be of some avail to you and the others. I'm sure it Please will. Pass a message on to the commander that I am safe. Cool, what's your name? But a force compels me on, and I intend to see where it takes me. If you too feel so compelled, then we will cross paths again at the end of all of this. Your name, though? I'm going to call you Marty. Fare thee well, Marty. Was that who I think it was? Marty. We'll also want honey. You know, I think I'm going to grow honey instead, because herbs I can find. I can find herbs in abundance if I need them. Honey is a precious resource. So let's get that growing, and let's fertilize with... Okay. Take two. No, no dog. Bad dog! You're kidding me. I'm here! Oh, uh, where'd you go? That was a one-shot kill. I guess you could say... It's rough. <laughs> <laughs> oh... Carrie, add studio laughter. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hi, Robin. I've made friends with you three times. <laughs> Good first impression. You must be Carrie. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. I know where it is. I've been here before. This is not creepy at all. The farm's right over there if you'll follow me. Hello, Mayor Lewis. Welcome. I'm Lewis, Mayor of Pelican Town. I know where your shorts are. Cool. <laughs> you know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So are you just RPing like a creepy psychic in this world? Is that what's happening? I guess. It wasn't intentional. This is just organically growing out of the moment. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, I should have done endurance. That was dumb of me. Oh well. I am just gonna homer bone. Uh, I'm not losing these souls. Yeah, good call. <laughs> and then I'm gonna start slowly making my way downtown toward the Hydra, because that's gonna be the rest of this episode. It turns out. First things first. Check the TV. Check the TV. Yes. Oh shoot. You <laughs> steal the TV. <laughs> Look, it's an ongoing thing with me. I'm not actually very. Good. <laughs> very good with controllers. Yeah, it uh, was. He was great. He was amazing. Wait, it's my husband, not you. Sorry, <laughs> it's my other husband. What? What do you want? Go away. I love you. <laughs> Shane. Shane is Shane. best girl, to be fair. Shane. 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 Wait. 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 I'll buy you pizza. I'll buy you all. Pizza. I think I think he really wants oh. to be left alone. You know, maybe they should have sent a different organization member. Be a good boy now. Right. I feel like this guy is kind of undermining their gravitas. What? He got away. That was weird. Who gave him the same look? You know, I think he was just trying to confuse you. Yeah, you're right. Only one me. Not a boy, Sora. I mean, no, but <laughs> provably false, but at a boy. I'm here with Carrie again. We're chefs and we're going to be cooking more. But first, we're going to follow the geese flying to the west as I am not in control of the car. Sure you are. No, no, this is not my doing. I'm trying to steer us toward a level where we cook things at our kitchen. We're going to be late for work. <laughs> Like our well, why are you driving so silly? Our customers are expecting us. They they need their food. They're hey, hungry. Look, look, there's a ramp. Ramp it. Ramp it. It does look like it's like ramp a ramp. It, ramp it. Come on. No, ramp it. I bet that's actually is going to turn into a ramp we can go up later. Mm. Actually, mm. now that you've now that you pointed it out. Mm. What were we thinking? I don't know. Hey, huh. people who work in kitchens, do you ever intentionally mess up an order so you can eat it later? So I briefly worked at a... Uh, Oh, that's Chuck right. E. Cheese 
You that was like one of my first jobs as a teenager. And uh, I definitely know some of the pizza cooks in the back screwed up some orders on purpose. <laughs> that is beautiful. Because whenever like an order got screwed up, we just put it in the back for anyone who was working to eat. That is, that's kind of wonderful and great. An easy to abuse system in retrospect, but uh, I sure appreciated it at the time. Alrighty, level one for, level one. So we're gonna check out level four? Vol... One... F oh, come on! <laughs> I can't do it. While we run over there, I'm gonna have a little discussion with you guys. One on one. Except one to, like, a thousand, I guess. However many people watch this. Uh... I hear you. I hear you guys. My impressions, they're awful. They're the worst thing about this series. <laughs> I will, I'll never do an impression again on this show. I promise you guys, I'll, you know, it's done. Just clean cut conversation from here on out. Oh, hang on. Uh, someone's at the door. Hello? Oh, Dan, it's so good to see you. Misa Jar Jar Binks. Oh, Jar Jar, it's so good to see you again. I haven't seen you in a while. You've been, oh, you know, good, good. Well, thanks for coming by. I'm kind of recording a thing right now, if you don't mind. So, oh, it's okay. I'll come back later. Do you want, I'll bring a sandwich. I, I love sandwiches. You're great, Jar Jar. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, bye. Bye, Annie. My name's Dan for the last time, but you know what? It was, everyone give it up for Jar Jar. You know, I'm gonna take over the steering here. You're 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 out of control with this car. You're okay. You know, never mind. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I'll uh, I'll let you drive. You know what? I've decided you're in charge of driving. <laughs> but it gets. Dull I'm putting when the controller you... down. Come on, play with me in the space. <sighs> okay, let's go to level <laughs> one four. Ha! Level <laughs> one four. Ha! Ha! <laughs> or not driving at it, just around, you know. Like one does. Scoping out the zone here and ha ha ha! Yes! Oh, come on! All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Story Mode, Kingdom Hearts 2. Happy Friday and whatnot. We're still in hell. You fix? <laughs> Maybe. I fix. I fix. By which trash you mean? I, mean, I don't know why. My brain is fried. I'm actually talking like Yoda without meaning to. Wow. Full cosplay and everything. <laughs> Lady Jingle. Hello, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking bad over there. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on, hang on. Oh. Hello, Dan. Whoa! The heck was that? <laughs> Here, have this fish, tip folks. Um, tip folks. <laughs> Our new, new name for customers, yes. Is tip folks, yes. It makes sense somewhere. <laughs> Eat this, tip lords. <laughs> hey, I almost got one. I got one. Dan, did you see I got one? Mm-hmm. They're not even looking. Oh, I, yeah, I told you, I, I'm gonna put it on the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> You're that weird psychic girl. Um, what do you want to go see the, the, the rats inside this building? They're not rats. <laughs> I like that he just turned to stare at you when you said <laughs> it. This is Pelican Town Community Center, or what's left of it anyway. You're going to sell it to Joja if one more person buys a membership there. Okay, you should maybe just stop talking. You're freaking me out a little. <laughs> it used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. But you knew that already, didn't you? <laughs> I did. Now just look at it. It's shameful. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. Lewis, I, I've i never known a generation of children who, like, made a point of engaging with the community. <laughs> yeah, that sounds a bit suspect. I think he's got a rather rosy view of his own childhood. I agree. But listen to me, I sound like an old fool. I guess he knows it. Hmm? What's this? I guess Vincent and Jazz must have been playing in here. Hmm. Engaging with the community, you might say, Lewis. <laughs> what are you complaining about? Yeah. 
They're What's in the community that? center. They're the only ones still using it. The kids are all right, Louis. <laughs> Normally, I don't like people invading our kitchen space, but this is pretty. They're not really invading adorable. the space. See, that's the thing. Yeah. Your stuff's on fire. I'm, yeah. You might want to look into that. I'm like I'm working on it. It's just a, hang also, on. Also, ah. I'm really bored over here. <laughs> chicken. Did you? Oh, okay. Ah, fire! Wait, this chicken's already been chopped. Fire! Yeah. Fire 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 fire, fire! 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 It's fine. Excuse, excuse me. Huh? That chicken had already been chopped. No. <laughs> Keep it. I'm busy. Trash. <laughs> Look, it's done. I don't want it. Fine, I'll cook it. Uh, I'll cook I'm this bored. also. I'm Have a potato. Have a plate. Have no wait. You I can't need... throw the plates. I can't throw the plate. I need the plate. Here you go. Yay! Thank you. I um, don't know. What Enjoy to that. Do with this. Here we go. I know. Give me some. Bored. Uh, I'm did, bored. Did, yeah. Hang on. Uh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Potato. I've chopped those. Potato. Potato. Oh. Oops. <laughs> you threw that in the ocean. Potato. Potato. You threw that in the ocean. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna pass. <laughs> you know. Oh my goodness. That is the worst we have ever done. It wasn't great. Parsnips, right? Yeah. I think, yeah. Turnips? Mm, parsnips. Brain just completely Because I know what turnips stopped. are. Parsnips. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Don't. Parsnips, <laughs> yes. I don't actually know what a parsnip is now that I think about it. You don't? Not really. Oh. Like a vegetable, I'm assuming. Yeah. And beyond that, that's kind of the end of my knowledge of parsnips. That's the I... full thing I know. I think you've had them before. I'm sure like, I have. There's probably lots of food I've had or ingredients I've had in foods that I really have no idea what they actually are. It's just, I think, I think that's one of the things my mom has made before. I believe it. Because she does them like, um, okay, so they're a root vegetable and they sure. look sort of like a carrot, but okay. they're not orange. They're like pale kind of. All right. And With you so far. It is not one of my favorite things. Sorry, Mom. Um, <laughs> and I might be getting them mixed up with rutabaga. Another is, thing, I have no idea what it is, so... They look more like beets. Also not one of my favorite things. She prepares them the same way. Again, very sorry, Mom. Wow. Um, two straight up dunks on your mom. It's not... No, no, they're, <laughs> they're fine. They're not bad. <laughs> I also don't really know what a rhubarb is. A rhubarb? Mm-hmm. Like, okay. I, I vaguely know what rhubarb itself is. I don't know where it's from or where it... I know what it ends up tasting like. We need to find you, like, a children's book of herbology or something. <laughs> like, vegetables. I've just never encountered a rhubarb a in life. A farmer's almanac, I guess. I guess so. That's probably what I could use. Rhubarb is... Uh... <laughs> How do you explain rhubarb? You, know, I'll, you go to the wizard, I'll Google it. Okay. I don't know, it's... I mean, you've seen it. It just grows out of the ground. <laughs> <laughs> how many How many things really do that at the end of the day? No, you've seen rhubarb. You know what a stalk looks like. And you know the broad, dark green leaf. Wikipedia. Oh my goodness. It's okay, I don't think we have any planted, so... He really just looks like The Undertaker. He does. <laughs> You're not wrong. At least in the little version. The big portrait, not so much. Ah, uh, but... come in. <laughs> We're not going to do that voice. My voice will not last. We don't talk <sighs> to him all that much. That's true. But still. I am Rasmodius, seeker of the arcane truths. This feels more right anyways. Mediary between physical and ethereal. Master of the Seven Elementals. Keeper of the Sacred... You know what? You get the point. <laughs> I do. And you, Carrie, the one whose arrival I have long foreseen. Well, I have long foreseen my arrival, too. I foresaw it first. I foresaw it. Dibs Infinity. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. <laughs> Here, I'd like to show you something. Is it a Junmo? 
No. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Behold! It's did a Junimo. Say, you spoiled it. Good did job. Did I say the word wrong? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. It probably is actually called a Junimo. I can't remember what they're called. I think Junimo is right. You've seen one before, haven't you? Green chubby rat. Green chubby rat. No. <laughs> they call themselves the Junimos. Hey, we were right. Yes. Mysterious spirits, these ones. For some reason, they refuse to speak with me. Hmm. Whoa. So I do that to them. <laughs> I'm not sure why they've moved into the community center, but you have no reason to fear them. Because I can vanish them all. Just say the word. <laughs> all right, let's do, let's check out the next level real fast. Just one time. Uh, sorry, I had to burp. Just one time. Uh, and then we'll wrap it up for today. But I'm very curious what, oh, we gotta hit a switch. Uh, I gotta go all the way around. <gasps> so far to drive it... <sighs> go on i'm going oh no never mind i'm just gonna go this way this is the way we're going up this <laughs> ramp <laughs> this is gonna be the rest of the episode i think <laughs> you steering us off cliffs i think i love this map <laughs> This map has given you too much power. <laughs> it's so no. amazing. No, I don't want to be on this floor. I, I want to be. I can thwart you forever. It's so I great. I just want to hit button and go up okay, ramp. Okay, okay. I want okay. nothing more. Hmm. One with the forest. What do they mean? I mean, I know, but I'm not going to like spoil it for you. Mr. I Wizard. already know I'm being cryptic. <laughs> I knew it first. <laughs> My cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest. Just happened to be like that, Baby huh? fern, moss grub, caramel top toadstool, one of the town kids. Can you smell it? <laughs> Here, drink up. Let the essence of the forest permeate your body. Mm, I feel much less comfortable with this after what you just said. Please take it back. Wasn't even one of the cool ones. What you doing? I'll get him. This time, we settle it. Me and the one who embodies all the darkness in me. Namura? Huh. I said you get kinda different, Cloud. If I do, it's his fault. What, did Vincent take mm. his gear back? Sephiroth. Oh. I'm a meathead. Yes. I'm a charge of noodles. Head. <laughs> exactly. Yes. This is our current plan. We'll see if it gets us one star. <laughs> why do you why do you do this? I feel like you're setting us off. That's so many cliffs I have to get us back up. What have you done? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> no. <laughs> we had so much good positive energy going and look what you look what you've done. It's evaporating. Right in front of our eyes. We had Into those big fluffy clouds. In the spirit, <laughs> in the spirit of teamwork, drive down three cliffs. <laughs> no, I don't even know how to get back. Okay, no, we can't. <laughs> Why do you do this? You're a criminal. You're a food criminal. <laughs> it makes me laugh. <laughs> I am here joined, of course, in this co-op run by Mr. Dan Jones. Dan, how are you doing? Why, it's not Dan. It's Father Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone, here on Playframe. This is a Christmas special. <laughs> oh, birds, watch it. Bird, nope, 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 nope. Here we go. I have saved those eggs from the pan. We're putting them to a higher purpose. In space. Space eggs. Listen. This is how the constellation sausage gets made. It may not be pretty, but this is how it happens. What am I picking up? Crayons? Those aren't swans or eggs. This won't do it all. Where are the eggs? I need them for my space project. Stakes, where are you at? Uh, he's coming up the stairs. Okay, get ready oh, to turn it. Get ready to turn it. Okay. Turning. 
Goodbye. <laughs> Suck it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's very satisfying. It really is. And there he goes. Hello. Where is he now? Uh, he's looking at us through binoculars. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on up, buddy. <laughs> Don't be shy. There's a unifying effect these Katamaris have. <laughs> Is that the sound a welcome mat makes? Okay. <laughs> like this Katamari has a bunch of cats and dogs together getting along. Or at least if they're not getting along, no one will know. I'm here to bring the good word of the Katamari to you folks today. Welcome. Welcome to the herd. You're going to love it here. And in space. Oh, it's great up there. You are all going to have a fantastic time being a star. Everyone wants to be a star. I guess not everybody does. But odds are enough of you wanted to be stars that this is most likely your lucky day. Thank Hurrah! You much. Hurrah! That makes twice. Sure, nothing bad is going to happen to him. In Dark Souls, please, nothing bad is going to happen to this big-hatted fellow. All happy endings. Yeah. <laughs> Feel good game of the year, Dark Souls. <laughs> <laughs> Something you can tuck your kids into at night. <laughs> yeah, bring the whole family. <laughs> for some laughs. <laughs> Can't wait for Disney to make an animated feature about it. <laughs> Disney uh, presents Dark Souls. Dark Souls. <laughs> Witness the magic. <laughs> Starring Gilbert Godfrey. Yes. <laughs> yeah. What a voice, though. He's such a good voice. I, I, I would trade my voice for that instantly if someone gave me the opportunity. <laughs> Just trying to picture playing a full Dark Souls co-op run, or any run, really, with like, someone with the Gilbert Godfrey voice. That would be so okay. funny. <laughs> I got my sign down. <laughs> the old lady remains steadfast, but the crown, the crown is mine. As is my birthright as prince of all cosmos, and presumably all the crowns within said cosmos. If any of you are hoarding crowns, you have to tell me. By royal decree. Those crowns are supposed to be mine, and I think down all of you knew it. But I am a forgiving prince. Oof, I only have a minute left. Everyone who has a crown still, I've only got a minute left, so all of you to single file, line up, set up your crowns for me to roll up, so I can get back up to space where I belong, before I get in trouble. With my dad. Ooh, let's try out this dash ability. Here we go. Oh yeah, look at me sprint. Oh yeah, look at me drift! <laughs> oh, this world's fun. Whoa. That is quite the drift. Look at me go. <laughs> uh, we gotta enjoy the little things. But any longer than that, and even the King of All Cosmos can't be expected to wait. We look forward to a nice Katamari, Soppy Prince Soppy. Fine. You're like <gasps> dude invaded. Dude. <laughs> dude. Ooh, this is a prime opportunity. Hang on. One oh, yeah. moment. This I hope he'll wait, because this is really Yep, here he comes. I'm gonna distract him. Really important. I'm gonna wave at him. Goodbye. <laughs> Rude. Rude dude. You can't see me. I'm invisible. I'm with you. I'm providing emotional support. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, that's really helpful. <laughs> I don't think he knows where you are. No? Come back here. Don't you dare yeah, run away sure. from me. Sure, 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 sure. Hello. 
He really is just ignoring me. Yeah, he just wants me. He just wants my blood. Come back here. Oh, fine, fine. Ignore me. <laughs> Am I good spell? No appreciation for my art. You've got to keep a lookout. The MCP isn't going to just let us waltz in. If you really think about it, there aren't a lot of places in life that allow you to waltz in. That'd be a fun gimmick. Waltzing is mandatory for entry to our establishment. There will be no entry into this Dunkin' Donuts without satisfactory waltzing. Are you lost? Well, you are here at Playframe, and we are going to level 3-1. Ostensibly. Someday. Eventually. Why does it let you override my direction? I don't understand this. What do you Why, mean? Like, I feel like we're both pressing in opposite directions, so it should be going. Just like, it, or it should just not be moving. But instead, yeah? it just listens to you. Why does it only listen to you? I bribe it. Mm. You go to sleep at night and I come down here and I, I give the, what is this, Xbox cookies. <sighs> Would you like to steer us toward the level, please? Me? Yes, please. Oh, no, I can't steer. I'm putting steer. you in charge of steering toward the level. No, no, I can't steer I have put the all. controller down. Oh, come on. Don't do this. Nope. Nope. Don't call my plug. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> this feels horrible. And it's going to feel horrible to all of our listeners. Nonsense. Well, I or mean, I feel like we me. have to start the level at some point is the thing. Look Le it. We're basically here. We're late to our jobs. We're here. Their customers Don't you just wanna... waiting there. Kevin is watching. Don't you want to go? I very much do. <laughs> Still haven't pressed a button. Oh, come on. <laughs> eh. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Why do you delight in this so much? <laughs> I love the sound effects in this game. And I love that the police and these other characters in the world are treating this like they're running and all that. Like, this is basically a monster movie. This is- this- and I'm the monster. Running around this bizarre town. I like to my th think of myself as a benevolent ruler monster, but... One way or another, law enforcement is trying to fend me off. They'll learn. They will learn to embrace the Katamari as the Katamari embraces them. Join the fold. Become ball. We are all one, as they say. Or at least we will be. Once the ball finds you. Do I have a tomato? No. But I need one. Tough. Thank you. Here's a tomato on a pizza. It could go in an oven if it wanted. It doesn't want. I, I don't know why I'm saying no so much right now. <laughs> First rule of improv. No, it's not. Dang it. <laughs> I mean, yes. And, and also, um... Join the Katamari. It's fun in here. We have popcorn. Several boulders. Some people who are just dying to meet you, probably. I really can't tell what they're screaming, but they're super insistent about it. And I think we, we should both just treat that as enthusiasm to make some more friends. Ah, I want in there! Okay, this- yep, it's yep, burgers yep, again. Yep. It's burgers, burgers, burgers. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> <laughs> did you just bring lettuce down and throw it off the edge? Yeah. Hurry up and start rolling. Just one. That's all we need. One cow. We're just missing one last cow. So give us the largest cow you can find. We shall be patient for ten minutes. We leave you to your work. <laughs> He just starts saying it all so slowly, I feel like I have to <laughs> read it with quiet gravitas. Now, 
do you want me to do the voice I did the first time for Sana's Companion? I don't remember the voice you did the first time for Sana's Companion, so out of curiosity, let's say yes. Oh, okay. What, well, is this a bad idea? I no, don't remember. No, I just, <laughs> I, I'm worried it might be a little annoying. <laughs> all That's right, well, all. You give, it, give it a go, and okay. we'll, uh, we'll see if we need to not do that voice. It's the only one that I really remember, so. Sana! <laughs> I'm right. coming to friends! Long time friend, I won't leave you now, friend. We are friends, right? I, I remember, and I do enjoy this voice, so we'll okay. go with it. I found this strange thing. It looks scary to you. What do you think it means? <laughs> anyway, here's a question from, uh, sorry. Is it okay to ask how you and Carrie met? <laughs> uh, okay, sure. Let's see. Carrie and I have been together for a long time. Uh, we met in high school, actually. Uh, and then we stayed together through the rest of high school, through pretty much all of college, and got- ended up just getting married in 2005, uh, when we were kind of toward our last semester of college. And have been together ever since. So we are... Let's see. Coming up on 13 years married now? Yeah, I think so. Dang. Yeah, we got married actually, uh, December 27th, uh, two days after Christmas, so... Wait a minute. What episode am I recording? Holy cow, am I actually recording this? <laughs> is this the episode that goes up on our anniversary? No way! <laughs> it is, I think. If my math is correct. If not, oops, but... <laughs> wow. I did not plan that at all, that's really funny. But yeah, December 27th, uh... Happy anniversary, Carrie. <laughs> I don't even- I've never fought him before, I don't know what to expect. Like, he... may... clean the floor with me. Nope, oh, found him. Cue up some epic music, Carrie. <laughs> Being a wizard! And he's dead. <laughs> oh, sorry, Logan. Nice hat, though. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Okay, yes. Okay, that's a lot of thunder. Yes, yes, you've made your point. Look at all your lightning. I'm very impressed and proud. Stop. Quit. Stop. Quit. Stop. The jingle is back. Cannot be stopped. Hey, uh, Carrie, can we add a little jingle bell noise every time I'm summoned? <laughs> <laughs> How seasonal. Just a, just a faint one. <laughs> <laughs> like hearing Santa slay on the wind. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's... I would like that very much. You gotta step it up. Bring in more followers to the Cult of Ball. Listen, I know you guys get these weird cult pitches a lot, but... In our case... Just to like... Just to like really try to sell you on it. Our cult is actually going to space. I think I hear... Sleigh bells on the winter wind. <laughs> what could it be? If you bang good all year round. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Jingle, come to visit you. She'll slide down your chimney and break all your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Jingle's coming to town. You better watch out. You better watch out. You better watch out. <laughs> yes. I got this handled. Give me those houses. And that elephant. <laughs> and these trees also. All of this is mine. Everything the ball touches is our kingdom. The snake danger is out of control. Too much snake danger. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh dear. The snakes are everywhere. They've all gotten out. It's a snake explosion. Oof. Don't want to be near one of those. Why not? Just, like, I don't seek snake out, uh, I don't seek snakes out, generally. Yeah. And, uh, I don't want to be near an explosion of them, because I feel like they would be agitated, and I'd be agitated, and no one would be having fun. And when snakes don't have fun, they bite. Okay, that's fair. As soon as they stop having fun. <laughs> the instant they stop having fun. They bite the first thing they see. <laughs> I'm not sure you know much about snakes, but neither do I, so I will accept this reasoning. I feel like 
you could kind of prove this. Just go find a snake and it, you'll know when it stops having fun because it bites you. The Cult of Ball needs new recruits. We welcome all comers of a certain size or lower. But we are looking to expand. Ah, come on. No. Leave me alone. I'm running and being alive. I'm busy, Roxas. Some of us have things to do, like run and be alive. Should just be considerate of people's plans. And like, I feel like if anyone would know... ...me and my problems, Roxas, it would be you? I don't know. Alright, let's get out of here. I hate these gates. Don't want to see these gates anymore. Give me that giraffe. <laughs> this game just sort of, like, reduces you to the simplest thoughts, eventually. Just... Elephant. Want. <laughs> Trees. Mine. Fences. Okay. Cows? Yes. Maybe. No, yes. Yes, cows. <laughs> and also fish and tractors, and everything else I see. All mine. Let me actually rest at this one this time. There we go. We're learning. Yeah. We're learning Dark Souls, you know. I just might slowly be starting to get the hang of Dark Souls, everyone. I think I like this game. <laughs> You know, this game's alright. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> I know it catches a lot of flack on the internet and all that, but I'm gonna say it. I think Dark Souls is good. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna say it. <laughs> I don't care who knows it. Let's see how big we can make this thing, huh? Your skyscrapers belong to me. Also the cranes, I'll need those. ...to build more skyscrapers should I need them. At the end of the day, I don't know what happens... ...with all this stuff once it goes in a star. But y'all will find out soon, right? I mean, you're going up there! I envy you. Neat. Yeah. No one got hurt. <laughs> I'm gonna switch that before that guy arrives. <laughs> Welcome, N. Oh, I wish I had camouflage again. Oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. That was the best. I can't think of a better way to die by invasion than that. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> We're doing it again. We're doing it again. Up, up, up. Whee! <laughs> yes.